it's showtime. Part one was a royal variety show, a real variety show, but this is where we find out what happens in the end. This is as far as it goes for one of the two most famous clubs in world football for this season. Veron and Giggs are in the box. Van Nistelrooy has brought himself from space stylishly. Driven at the near post and Casillas had to react. Elements of surprise, huge element of power about the shot from Ruud van Nistelrooy. Oh, that's the, he is a Dutch master, isn't he? He looks if he's shaping to play it in, hits it early as soon as he shifts his feet, and Casillas makes a good save, but they've got a problem here. Zidane to Guti. Quickly on to Ronaldo, who has stolen a march on Ferdinand. Ronaldo shot! Heartbreaker. Ronaldo with a blow to the heart of Manchester United's hopes. Ruud van Nistelrooy's away goal has been cancelled out by the pace and the brilliance and the big match man, Ronaldo. Well, he gets that position again we're talking about. He peels off the defender. His run's not tracked. Let's have a look at the goalkeeper here. Well, Zidane has made a run between Sylvester and O'Shea and set up Figo. And that will drop and make and force a save from Barthez. It wasn't at all what Luis Figo intended, but it nearly, nearly dropped underneath the crossbar. Would have been the biggest fluke of all time if they had it gone in. That would have been a fluke. Yeah. Shaft away by Elguera, but it's fallen here for Ryan Giggs off Zidane. Giggs has created some space. Wasn't far away. Unlucky. That was unlucky. That was maybe that could have been the break they're looking for, the, the, the thing to lift them. Brown is forward. This is Solskjaer. But he shot away, and Casillas reacted very quickly. And Roberto Carlos cleared. But that's pumped up the volume a bit. Some Slip good shot from what he got to Solskjaer. Yeah, some good work by uh, Wes Brown on the ball. Let's see through a minute, Clive. Let's see this one through first. Very few clubs at any level put their trust in young goalkeepers, particularly young undersized goalkeepers. When Yero and Elgaro went for the same ball, Roberto Carlos couldn't clear. And this is Ryan Giggs. And now Oli got to Solskjaer. A Ruud van Nistelrooy. That's one of them. A starter for three for Manchester United. From you know who, Ruud van Nistelrooy. And that's a first class example of what I've just been saying about forcing the game. It's really. It's a nothing ball, they get a mistake. It's a suggestion, no, he's not offside. I just wondered about the centre forward when he took the chance, but we're not even going to query that. That's a goal. That's got the game on again. Solskjaer again. Driven to Casillas. It'll come out for Brown. It might fall for Van Nistelrooy. Casillas saves on the post. It's almost as if the pitch has been tipped up the other way. Suddenly, Manchester United have the wind in their sails, and Real Madrid are looking a little ragged. Zidane to Figo. Turns away from Bartz. Oh, off the post. The crossbar. Manchester United riding their luck. Zidane. Roberto Carlos. It's Ronaldo! That may be a goal too far. Real Madrid's second goal is surely a passport to the semi-finals. And it came at the conclusion of a breathtaking spell of attacking football. Well, when Figo hit the bar, you wonder whether they got out of jail, but there's that little threaded pass through. They play it in, it's passed away in. But are United playing statues there? Are the defenders playing statues? Van Nistelrooy. Here's Solskjaer. And now Veron. It's an own goal, Algera. Three more needed. Manchester United back on terms on the night. Casillas and Elguera on completely different wavelengths. 5 3 to Real Madrid on aggregate. Giggs. Solskjaer. It's a good stop by Casillas. I think by Oli Gunnar Solskjaer's high finishing standards, he would probably feel. As if he should have given the keeper no chance. And up towards Oli Gunnar Solskjaer. He's hit by Veron. It's another stop by Casillas. You really do need to feel as if everything has got to fly in for Manchester United now. And everything is coming off Iker Casillas. Luis Figo. Ronaldo. He's made space for himself. Ronaldo shot off. 
Pick that out. What a hat trick. And what a stage on which to score it. Ronaldo has done some remarkable things in his young career. But the three goals that he has scored here tonight against Manchester United will rank high amongst his achievements. He's unreal, isn't he? For someone that's supposed to be finished, you might say could have got pressure onto him earlier. You don't allow shots from there with him, but uh, he does drop in the deep and he's got one thought in mind. He's going positive. He knows nobody's going to challenge him and he unleashes one. Well, he's had to wait nearly 18 minutes into the second half to replace Seba Veron. Nobody should underestimate the pride of David Beckham and how it will have been hurt by the selection tonight. And now Ruud van Nistelrooy. It's a brilliant shot, oh. and it just struck the outside of the post. Well, his reputation continues to be enhanced. But the man of the moment, the man of the night. He's just the best player in the world, that's what he is. Keane. Beckham. In towards Solskjaer! Well, Pitch yourself, will, he missed. That will go down as one of them. How did he miss? For a play, I mean, it's a perfect cross. That's a phenomenal cross. Keen to Van Nistelrooy. And brought down in rugged fashion by Ivan Algela. Well, this is the first free kick the match United have had in this position, and it's arrived just in time for David Beckham. It is Beckham. Oh. It's a marvellous free kick. That's one of the best I think I've ever seen him score that. That was phenomenal. I was just about to say the goal you referred to earlier was also one of the best I've seen him score. A little dribble in the roof, but that is absolutely outstanding. You think Roberto Carlos would give him a, a slap for that one? That, that is brilliant. Could it be? Well, they need three more goals. They might need three more of those from Beckham yet. Luis Figo. Little back heel for Zidane, look at that for Portillo, he's offside. He's not, he waved his arm, that his flag climb. And that, was, that was exhibition. Oh, he, he put his arm up to say yeah. a thumbs up to the referee, he's onside. <laughs> David Beckham. And now Ruud van Nistelrooy. That's a lovely clean strike. Possessed by Solskjaer. Here is Ruud van Nistelrooy. He's got away from Elgera. Oh, it's come off the arrow. Beckham probably got the last touch. Manchester United are in front on the night. Fernando Hierro sent it spinning goalwards. I don't know if David Beckham just reached it before it crossed the line. Real Madrid's love affair with the European Cup continues. They have broken the hearts of Manchester United again. They will be mere spectators when these players return for the final here next month. A mesmeric, memorable game, full of stories. But the roll call of knockout disappointments continues for Manchester United. Monaco, Dortmund, Munich, Leverkusen, and now Madrid again. The 2003 final is here in five weeks' time, but it will be English only in its setting.